Start by giving all praises to the Most High, whose true name in Hebrew is Yahweh, and the name of His only begotten Son, whose true name in Hebrew is Yahweh Shai, and the Holy Spirit, which is the Rakah Kodash. Noble honors to the elders and apostles, and the Holy Spirit, who taught us His truth. Honors to the brethren that's laboring, doing the work to push the gospel, risking their life and freedom to do so. Peace and blessings to the hopeful elect, who should be one third of the true Israelites, according to scripture, who will be the Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, and Seminole Indians, who will be returning back to the Most High by hearing and believing on his word during these final moments so that he will have mercy on us in judgment. We back with another lesson to the power and spirit of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shah. Now, I'm going to let this first clip roll real quick. Look closely. See, he searched Bible and it came up no results. <laughs> he put in Bible prophecy. It said videos removed, violated terms of service. Now, this is from a movie. Um, I can't remember the name of the movie, but the brother KC, Prophet of Yahweh, you know, did this video. You can see that lesson there to see what movie it is. But he put in Bible. No search results came up. Put in Bible prophecy. Again, it said videos removed. Terms of service violated. Now, we see this all the time in this ministry. <clears throat> Those who spread in, you know, Bible prophecy in the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. But this is what's coming sooner than later. <clears throat> You remember earlier this year, this article came out. UN Secretary General declares war on disinformation. We must lock up free thinkers. So they about to heavily censor the internet. They about to heavily censor alternative news sources. You know, from what's on TV to the internet, YouTube, Rumble, TikTok, all of that. Anybody that's speaking truth, or speaking information um, that's not in harmony with their new world order is about to be wiped off the internet. Anybody who's spreading truth, Bible prophecy, who's exposing the new world order, they about to be persecuted, you know, through in prison, FEMA death camps, all of that. But it's a way that they're gonna actually censor the internet. So they're gonna wipe the internet clean, but they're gonna go a step beyond that. Now, we're going to watch about three minutes and 50 seconds of this video here. So check this out. The mark of the beast system is upon us right now. They're ushering in new laws and almost 500 million people are now under this new law and this new mark of the beast system that just passed where everything will be tracked and traced and you have internet IDs and they are saying everything down to you renting a bike, you renting a bike and you getting your groceries are going to be connected to this. Your health care will be connected to this. Everything will be connected to this and it will be programmable as well to exclude you from buying and selling certain products and to exclude certain individuals. All right. All this stuff just passed right now. Almost 500 million people are now under this new law and we need to be getting ready for it. All right. And I want you to listen to what this guy said right here. Okay, this is the deputy director of the IMF, and I want you to hear what he just said as well while all this other stuff is going on. So this is what he said, the deputy director of the IMF. The third way we think CBDC can improve financial inclusion is through what we call programmability. That is, CBDC can allow government agencies 
agencies and private sector players to program, to create smart contract, to allow targeted policy functions, for example, welfare payment, for example, consumption coupon, for example, food stamp. By programming CBDC, those money can be precisely targeted for what kind of people can own and what kind of use this money can be utilized, for example, for food. So this potential programmability can help government agencies to precisely target their support. So you heard that there from one of one of the top people at the IMF, okay? And this is a international monetary fund. This is like the World Bank. They give loans. This is like the Federal Reserve for other countries that don't have their own Federal Reserve. That's what the IMF is. And at the same time that they are announcing this, that there's going to be programmable currencies, all right? And that's the only way you're going to have access to any type of government care or facilities is to be opted into the CBDC program. And at the same time now, the EU just passed this digital ID wallet law and they are now starting to implement it in countries like Luxembourg right now. Okay, And the EU has almost 500 million people in it and they are now under this new law. Here it is, final agreement on EU digital identity wallets expands scope of regulations. And it says right here, with the full guarantee of EU law, wallet holders throughout Europe can use their linked digital IDs to open bank accounts and make payments, store digital ID and biometric documents such as mobile driver's license and professional certificates, and expedite services in travel, healthcare, and other areas of life. Significantly, the regulation makes it mandatory for so-called very large online platforms like Facebook, Google, etc. to accept the EU digital ID wallet for login. Did y'all hear that? So we're going to backtrack a little bit and we're going to play it again. But this is talking about your digital ID, your digital wallet. It's going to allow you to have access to everything in this society. You won't be able to live a normal life unless you got this digital ID, digital wallet. If not, you'll be excluded from everything. But let's go back a little bit. Bank accounts and make payments, store digital ID and biometric documents such as mobile driver's license and professional certificates and expedite services in travel, healthcare, and other areas of life. Significantly, the regulation makes it mandatory for so-called very large online platforms like Facebook, Google, etc. to accept the EU digital ID wallet for login. So this digital ID, this digital wallet is going to be mandatory to log in to social media such as Facebook, YouTube, etc. So this is going to bring about the famine of the word. And then we know that CBDC, your digital ID, <clears throat> your digital wallet, that's going to be stored on the RFID microchip, which goes in the right hand. Which, we're going to bring out our first pre-sub, Revelation 13 to 16. <clears throat> Any cause of all, both small and great, rich and poor, free your bond to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. The mark in the right hand is the RFID microchip. The mark in the forehead is Elon Musk Neuralink brain chip. And that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. <clears throat> so yeah, you're not gonna be able to buy or sell, which sums it up. You're not gonna be able to function in society unless you got this digital ID, digital wallet. Because old forms of identity, your driver's license, all that, that's going to be done away with. 
you know, physical money that's going to be done away with. And this sums it up, but this goes beyond buying a seller, even renting a bicycle, even using the internet. It's going to require you to have the mark in the right hand and in the foreheads. And you're going to go back a little bit in this clip to show that it goes beyond buying a seller. So he starts to mention what the digital ID would be used for. He speaks about, you know, opening up bank accounts, receiving health care, health insurance. That's going to be for those who got the RFID microchip, digital ID, digital wallet. You know, or just access to transportation, things throughout the city, going to need the ID, digital ID, digital wallet. So we're going to go back and listen carefully. Holders throughout Europe can use their linked digital IDs to open bank accounts and make payments, store digital ID and biometric documents such as mobile license and... So yeah, uh, store biometric information, store your important documents such as a passport, a green card, driver's license. Um, let's say you got your license to drive semi-trucks you know, your digital ID, digital wallet is going to contain all of that. Professional certificates and expedite services and travel, healthcare, and other areas of life. Your certificates, those with their own businesses, uh, degrees, all that's going to be stored, your digital ID, digital wallet, which is our RFID microchip. And it said to travel, <clears throat> that's, that's all around. Rather, you, you catching flights, bus rides, train rides, or just traveling throughout the, about the city. Significantly, the regulation makes it mandatory for so-called very large online platforms like Facebook, Google, etc. to accept the EU digital ID wallet for login. And even log in to your online social media accounts through your digital ID digital wallet which they're beginning to do that now. Certain websites, you got to send in a photo ID or a screen recording of your face. And with that, that's going to be used in your digital ID, digital wallet. That's why when we come to the book of Psalms chapter 57 to 6, they have prepared a net for my steps. My soul is bowed down. They have digged a pit before me into the midst whereof they are falling themselves. So yeah, you know, when David say they have prepared a net for my steps, this net is a metaphor for the internet. And if you think of a net, it's like a web. That's why they call it the World Wide Web. The internet is a digital net that Esau has prepared to trap our people. And they preparing that net for our steps right now. And when you think about steps, um, that's for anything you could need in society. You know, you want to have a job, you'll need a digital ID, digital wallet, RFID microchip with the CBDC. You want healthcare, you're going to need the digital ID, digital wallet. And to travel throughout the city and the country, digital ID, digital wallet. You want to have access to the internet, digital ID, digital wallet for anything that you would need to do in your day-to-day -day living it's going to involve you being trapped in this net because everything is going to be linked to the internet you know your location your money how much you spent it where you spent it at where are you traveling to what you're doing on the internet you know all of that is going to be um stored on a net they linking everybody and everything they do to the grid. So they preparing this net for our steps right now. Anything that you would need in this society is going to require you to be part of this digital net, this worldwide web. And when we go to the book of Second Mesmeres, chapter 5 and 1, nevertheless as coming to tokens, nevertheless as coming to tokens, behold, the day shall come that they which shall dwell upon the earth shall be taken in a great number, and the way of truth shall be hidden, and the land shall be barren of faith. So yeah, the day is coming where the way of truth is going to be hidden. 
when we go back um, to this first video clip, let me see if I can go back. So he put the Bible down. But you know what? He gonna look up some videos. He gonna look up some teachings. No results five. <clears throat> put in Bible prophecy. <laughs> it said all the videos of Bible prophecy have been removed. It violated the terms of service. That's what? That's the way your truth being hidden. Gonna be completely taken off the internet. All, every video we've ever done, all the brothers out there, is going to violate the terms of service for one reason or another. Either medical, mi medical misinformation or cyberbullying or hate speech. Or, you know, it might be labeled uh, disinformation, etc. All these videos are going to be taken down. And nobody is going to be able to upload to youtube etc except those who got the digital id digital wallet that's gonna be your way of logging in it's not gonna be no more sign into your email address you know put in your phone number etc it's gonna be through your digital id digital wallet and that's why when we go to the book of amos 8 and 11 it reads behold the days come saith the lord yahweh that i will send a famine in the land not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, but of hearing the words of the Lord. So it's going to be a famine of the word, of these teachings. You know, especially those who teach under the names of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. You know, we got the true understanding of prophecy. And it's these teachings that they want to take off the net. Then when we go down, they shall wander from sea to sea, from the north even to the east. They shall run to and fro to seek the word of the Lord and shall not find it. This is a metaphor for the internet because you can surf the net how you surf the sea. They shall run to and fro. You know, this talking about the search engines. They're going to be running them search engines from YouTube to Rumble to Google to Yahoo all over the place. And then what happened in the video? It said no results found. It said videos removed. So that's what's going to happen. So that's going to be the famine of hearing the words of the Lord. Now, why is this such a big thing? Well, because your faith comes by hearing. So when it says that there should be a famine of hearing the words of the Lord. So Romans 10 and 17. So then faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. So having access to these videos, whether you believe or not, which as prophecy progresses, is going to show, you know, that we actually have the truth and people is going to, is going to want to know what's happening and what's coming next. You know, people can just pick up the Bible and understand it. It has to be taught to them. So your faith, your understanding come up by hearing. So when it's a famine of the word, a famine of hearing the word, uh, People will have no understanding and no faith. People are going to be completely lost. Romans 15 and 4, For whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning, that we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope. So having understanding, having faith, hearing this word, by having it taught to you, is, it, it contributes to your comfort that you might have hope in something. So when it's a famine of the word, a famine of hearing the word, which brings faith, which brings comfort, which brings hope, there's going to be no hope. That's why going back to 2 Nezus 5 and 1, the way of truth shall be hidden and the land shall be bearing the faith. Why? Because your faith coming by hearing. And you're not going to be able to hear none of these teachings because the videos are all going to be removed. And when people completely have no hope, well, What's going to happen? They're going to go all out. And that's proved in the next verse. So again, the way of truth shall be hidden and the land shall be bearing the faith. But iniquity shall be increased above that which thou seest or that thou, how, 
or that thou hast heard long ago. <clears throat> so when the land is barren of faith, people have no hope, people have no comfort, people don't know what's next, iniquity is going to increase. That's wickedness, violence in the streets here in America and throughout the earth. Iniquity is going to increase above that which thou now seest. Iniquity is at an all-time high right now. People drinking baby's blood, child and women, sex trafficking, mass shootings, people getting robbed daily, shot, stabbed, cannibalism. Anything you could think of is going on right now at an all-time high. But iniquity is going to increase when there's no um, hearing of the word. You know, doing the famine of the word. And the land that thou seest now to have root shall thou see wasted suddenly. So this place is going to be wasted suddenly, you know, shortly after the famine of the word. You know, people are going to go bonkers. And that's why when we go to the book of Isaiah 55 and 6, Seek ye the Lord while he may be found, call ye upon him while he is near. Yes, yeah, so seek understanding now. Dive into the word now. You know, before they take our videos down before they require a digital ID, digital wallet to log into YouTube. Because you need an account to upload information, whether it's pictures or make a post, upload videos. Well, you no, know, we often wonder, you know, what thing is it gonna be that causes the famine of the word? Well, hey, this very well might be it right here. So let's play that again. Guarantee of EU law, wallet holders throughout Europe can use their linked digital IDs to open bank accounts and make payments, store digital ID and biometric documents such as mobile driver's license and professional certificates, and expedite services in travel, healthcare, and other areas of life. Significantly, the regulation makes it mandatory for so-called very large online platforms like Facebook, Google, etc., to accept the EU digital ID wallet for login. The so make large social media platforms, you know, accept digital ID, digital wallet for login. So seek the Lord while he may be found. Because anybody who don't got this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, they're they not going to be comforted. You know, once these teachings are taken down, they're not going to have no hope. Because they're not going to know what to believe in. They're going to have no faith. The name to be bearing the faith. Hey, then iniquity is going to increase. That's why Isaiah 33 and 6. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times. And the strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord is his treasure. So yeah, we get this truth while it may be found. This wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. It's going to be the key to your salvation. It's going to contribute to you having uh, stability, being stable, mentally, spiritually, so that you don't give in. Because also going back to Amos chapter 8, verse 13, what's going to happen to the people who don't got this understanding, who don't got this wisdom? Well, in that day, should the fair virgins and young men faint for thirst? This meaning they're going to lose their minds. And everybody everybody who lose their mind, they're going to die. Really, if you ain't of the elect, you're going to die. So everybody but the elect, they're going to faint. You know, uh, spiritually, they're just going to completely give up. And so that's it for this lesson here. Uh, they're going to require your digital ID, digital wallet, to log in to YouTube, Facebook, Rumble, etc. That could very well be the famine of the word. All right, till next time, Shalom.